I feel like I took a major step this offseason, mainly because the time I put in, put in um, with my coaches and my strength staff and just with me and myself in general um, in the film room, learning tendencies on offenses and just being with my coaches, it helps a lot on the field and off the field. So I feel like I made that step this offseason. For me, I feel like it's more mental because if you know what you're doing, you can go out, go out there and execute faster. I feel like it's not about where you start, but more like where you end up. And you got to enjoy the process because football is just a game. It's not the, it's not the end point. It's, it's, the, it's the journey. And I fell in love with the journey. So no matter what happened in between, I love football. So wherever I ended up, that's why I was going to play. So here in Florida, we talk about being a 4D player. And I feel like I'm making that progress to being a 4D player. I'm not saying I'm there yet because it's always work to do. But being able to understand what the guy beside you, the guy in front of you and behind you doing is more important than just knowing what you got to do yourself. So I feel like that was the biggest step for me, being a 4D player. Basically, I was in coverage, and I seen him break the pocket. And I was like, I got to make this play. And I can't miss this tackle. <laughs> so um, just going out there and hearing the crowd cheering for me, my teammates supporting me, and looking and seeing the coaches, it just meant a lot to me knowing how far they came. High pace. They're going to they're gonna try to beat you to the ball. And I feel like that's where most of the explosives come from, not being set, not communicating. And I feel like in order to beat a team like Tennessee, you got to communicate, you got to beat them to the ball, you got to execute. I've been knowing Shamar before we even got to college, so we've always had that connection. And um, being here, it only brought us closer. So I feel like he's a great person, a great football player, and a great individual to be around. Uh, for us, it's more of a statement game. Like the past two weeks wasn't a fluke. I feel like we've been putting the work in, and Armstrong is a great coach, so he's going to always put us in the right place at the right time. So as long as we go out here and execute, do what he tells us, and make the plays that's supposed to be made, we'll be fine. The past two years when I like wasn't like playing, um, when I first got here, one of my coaches told me, just keep your head down and work and learn from those guys because there's a lot I could have learned. There's a lot I did learn from Ventrell and Bernie, and I'm using those same things today. So I want to thank those guys for just, you feel me, being great role models and great leaders to uh, the younger players as I was myself. Y'all know, you know, know B Spice back, right? So every day at practice, you just yelling, yelling, beat Tennessee, beat Tennessee. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of, we got a chip on our shoulder, mainly because of B Spice with the bug in our ear. Oh, and it's off season. Uh, we did a whole thing about robberies, and Tennessee was one of those robberies. And just knowing that not on, you're not only playing for the name of your back, but the name on the front of your jersey, the Gators. And, um, it's not about us. It's about the people who came before us and all the great role models and all the great players who came before us and just continuing their legacy. I feel like that's the biggest challenge for us.